Hello to all my beautiful Sagittarians out there. Intuitive Soul Coach here with your September love reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you are new. Today we're going to look at all things love related for you for the month of September 2021. All right, Sagittarius, this is a general love reading, not a one-on-one, -on -one, so please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one personal reading or even a free reading, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, so we're going to dive into the Romance Angels before we start your Celtic Cross, and we'll get more information through that as well. All right, we have some stuff going on for you. Woo. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So past, present, future energy. We have past, in the recent past, release your ex. Okay, the time has come to clear your energy. A lot of you, uh, it may have took, taken a while to release somebody from the past here. It could be twin flame energy as well. It can be soulmate energy, but for a lot of you, it was almost a sigh of relief. You can see the angel in this picture. She has her hand over her head, almost like a breath of fresh air, finally releasing something that does not serve you. We do have in the present coming up here, true love and express your love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Woo! What do you got coming in for you here? We have go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Make the romantic gesture. And in the future, we do have honeymoon. It says, enjoy the bliss of this holiday time together. So September, uh, we do have uh, Labor Day coming up here. Labor Day is the next holiday. Uh, and also can be, I'm seeing a uh, couple's Halloween costume come October as well. So I feel like you will be meeting somebody if you have not already that uh, could lead to potential, could lead to uh, a lot of love here. So let's take a look and dive in. Let's dive into your energy. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter for my beautiful Sagittarians for the month of September? All right. Four of Pentacles. I like this. Four of Pentacles. Uh, Four of Pentacles is all about managing your resources, uh, building your stability at this time. Maybe you're focusing on your money. Uh, maybe you are focusing on yourself at this time because I feel like you're taking care of the things that need to get taken care of. Uh, maybe the nitty gritty, you may be focusing again on your money or your career. Uh, you may be pinching pennies uh, as well so you're not allowed or allowing yourself really to go out and uh, maybe go on the dates or meet people because you're just trying to save on to some money at this time and that's certainly a-okay for you here but let's clarify the four of pentacles four of pentacles when it comes to love as well it can definitely be about you wanting to build something solid you're really wanting to work on yourself and uh, focus on showing yourself love and affection at this time too we have the two of wands you're waiting you're waiting for your uh, prince charming to come in is what i'm getting here you're waiting for this true love to show up you have a lot of love here sag that you want to express um i, I feel with the two of wands showing up this is you wanting to move forward in a situation. It's also the energy of should I stay, should I go? So for some of you, if you currently are in a relationship and you're questioning, should I stay or should I go? There's your answer. Release your ex, okay? I feel like if uh, something is making you contemplate here, moving forward, I, I do see forward movement, but I see it I see it as a brand new energy and almost within yourself here. But let's clarify and get one more card here for the Four of Pentacles. Spirit, can you please clarify the Four of Pentacles being the heart of the matter for my beautiful Sagittarians? Yeah, Page of Swords. You're curious. You're curious to see if the grass is greener on the other side. And typically, my phrase for that is the grass is greenest where you water it. However, in this case, 
I'm going to just jump in and say it. I think the grass is greener on the other side, Sag. So let's take a look at the obstacles that maybe are presenting themselves to your energy in the month of September. We have the Eight of Pentacles showing up here. This is you trying to master something. Master or put in even the hard work. Maybe you're working on yourself or you're working on a relationship. So a lot of you are with somebody at this time, okay? Maybe you're feeling a little bit isolated, maybe a little bit lonely, like you need to focus on yourself at this time, but you're wanting to work on a situation. You're wanting something to become better than it is here. So for those of you that are in a relationship, maybe you're separated or maybe you're just feeling a little bit on the outside and uh, wanting to know how can you fix this? How can you... Uh, put the hard work, energy, and effort into something where you can perfect it. But there is no such thing, Sag, as perfection. Uh, so how can you manage something in order to grow? I feel like there are patterns that need to be released and affections that need to be worked on, whether it's uh, affections between you and a partner or just uh, taking care of yourself at this time, focusing on your own self-healing. Even if you are with somebody, even if you're not, uh, you're definitely focusing on yourself. Let's take a look here and see what the challenge is. A lot of you are just wanting to walk away. And the challenge could be, uh, for many of you, is um, you know not having the experience on something. Not, not knowing what it takes to fix something. So the challenge is saying, put the work and energy into fixing whether it's something within yourself or it's something uh, within another that you both need to work and fix. There's the Four of Pentacles. So again, that's the heart of the matter. Double whammy here. Four of Pentacles is you holding on to something, and it could be you holding on to your pride, your ego in a situation as well, not knowing how to do something and not wanting to ask for help to do it. And uh, it's okay to admit that you don't have all the answers, and wow, we just got the two double whammy same cards, two of wands. There's that card of is the grass greener on the other side. So I feel like you're stuck in this rut here. Something's going on where you're stuck. You're not quite sure which direction to move going forward. Perhaps a second honeymoon is needed. If you are with somebody and you've been with somebody for a while here, Sag, there's something going on with uh, needing to find a spark, needing to bring passion back to life here. Uh, or even find somebody that sparks your passion if you are single. Let's take a look and see what's below you. What is the foundation upon which your love exists? Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups having options. Okay, maybe uh, this is you always dreaming about the grass on the other side here. Wondering when your uh, time to shine will come in. When you can make that wish upon a star and when your dreams will come true. Sag, this is all about uh, you having options, fantasies, choices. It's about wishful thinking, constantly wishing that something will improve, okay? Let's clarify this energy. Seven of Cups, Spirit. Please clarify what it is here that my beautiful Sagittarians are always feeling like there's uh, a lot of options out there, maybe even needing to narrow down some of those options. Third, uh, Three of Cups energy showing up in the reverse, okay? Okay. Uh, three of Cups showing up in reverse can be you feeling left out. It can be about a love triangle as well. But for some of you, it's about a third party. And a third party doesn't have to necessarily mean cheating. It just feels like your partners or your partner, uh, whether you've had the same kind of partner in the past or you're, you've been with somebody here, that's constantly choosing something above you. They could be choosing their work above you. They could be choosing their family uh, or their children or whatever it is that they are kind of putting you on the back burner and it feels like you you feel like you're not their number one that you're not a top priority in their life here and with that being said you're always wishful thinking your wishful thinking is the grass greener on the other side let's take a look here and see what's going on in your recent past Sag, what is going on? I'm also getting, I'm seeing one foot in, one foot out. So uh, again, that stay or go energy. Do I stay? Do I go? Let's take a look at what's going on in your past. Oh yeah. Woo. We have the tower. 
Power showing up though in reverse is something happening here that's a sudden revelation that offers freedom, okay? Offering you some sort of a release. When the tower shows up, it's a surprise. It's something that shocks the hell out of you here. It can be an unexpected change that comes in and kind of disrupts the course of uh, you know, where you thought you were supposed to be here. So let's clarify and Spirit, please tell me a little bit about this tower. Woo. All right, I just heard the name Dwayne. Dwayne, so please take that as it resonates. Dwayne, okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Fool, and the Ten of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's very stable, very secure, uh, loves to be out in nature. She can be a self-made, a working parent, very practical, thrifty, good with her money as well. Um, but this is the energy of where you thought you were going to be here. You were uh, feeling like this at one point within a relationship very stable very abundant uh, maybe wifey material was on your mind uh, because we have at the end here the ten of pentacles this is the happy family life ten of pentacles is about leaving a legacy behind for your children for your family growing building uh, enjoying that life together but at some point Somebody was giving more than they were receiving and vice versa here. So I feel like there needed to be equal give and take in a situation. And uh, there needed to be this leap of faith moving into um, a new energy, a new pattern. There needed to be almost a reset button. And that's what I feel happened here. Something came along that shook up your foundation and it almost gave you that reset button that you're pushing and you're like you know what I know this is shaky I know this is rocky but I want to go all in it's scary it's scary as hell here but you want this new beginning with the full energy and even if it is uh, risky you're willing to do something here so let's take a look I do want to get one more to clarify the tower spirit can you please tell me about this tower because it did show up in reverse I'm almost getting the energy of you dodging a bullet you dodging some sort of a bullet in the recent past spirit can we please get one more thank you ah page of wands page of wands is uh receiving some sort of spark some sort of creative spark feeling good about something again it could have been a comment it could have been a conversation it could have been a person that you met here that kind of got that spark rolling again in your energy all right so uh let's take a look at where your goals are at what's the potential what is above my beautiful sagittarians for their love 2021 Okay, we have major transformation coming in for you, Sag. This is the potential. This is the goal. You want change. You want transformation. Something has come to an end here. This is a time of an ending, letting go and letting God. You've outgrown this cycle. So stop resisting change is the message here. Uh, the death card comes in and it's about you hanging on. What are you hanging on really tight to? Because we have the four of pentacles and the four of pentacles hangs on to, again, um, it could be pride. It could be ego hanging on to something that's really not serving you. The cycle has outgrown itself. It's time to move on to a bigger, better healing version of yourself. So let's clarify this transformation. I feel like it's a beautiful transformation within you that's going to leave you a lot happier. But again, this is a goal. This is the potential. And sometimes our goals and potentials don't actually uh, happen the way that they're supposed to so let's clarify the death card okay <clears throat> yeah something's uh feeling uh, heartbroken here something regarding a uh, relationship because you have the tower something came crashing down in your relationship here in the recent past that's causing you to do a lot of healing you know that this is over this cycle cannot go on the way that it did in the past you cannot go on any longer it is time for healing your heart there's a little bit of bitterness a little bit of resentment here it can be about a painful loss separation divorce third party even cheating for some of you but I feel for you you're moving on from this energy and that's where this beautiful rebirth shows up in your life this beautiful transformation so let's take a look here 
and see uh, what the near future holds. Okay, we have the devil with justice. Okay, so you're releasing here any toxic energy, any addictions, any patterns, anything that does not serve your higher purpose, any temptations, anything that holds you back here. It could be an obsessive person, it could be lies, manipulation, codependency. What you're ultimately doing is freeing yourself from toxicity. There, You wanna bring balance back into your life here. And in order for you to bring balance back into your life, you need to let go of any of those temptations that are um, holding you back, okay? You know that a cycle needs to end. There's heartbreak, there's loss. Somebody did you wrong. Something happened in the union here that came crashing down, okay? So uh, in the near future, releasing yourself from this toxicity is the only thing that is going to bring balance into your life at this time. Let's clarify. Spirit, please tell me about this devil energy. Let's tell me. And I feel like the devil energy could be an ex, okay? It could be an ex. But I feel like true love is on the horizon here. There is a, a chance for you to express your love to someone, uh, possibly new. Oh, goodness. Possibly new. It could be somebody, uh, again, that did break your heart. But I feel like that cycle is coming to an end. There needs to be a whole new transformation within a union here. And now we have it, the magician card showing up. This is all about you manifesting. This is you manifesting. Pay attention to your thoughts because your thoughts become your reality, Sag. So if you're thinking negatively, that's what's going to show up in your life. If you're manifesting your ex back into your life, that's what's going to happen. If you're wanting to work on something here and uh, work on yourself or a relationship, you cannot go into it with the same energy of the past. I just heard the blame game as well, constantly pointing a finger or blaming somebody. Also, it's about releasing and letting go, again, of pa uh, toxic patterns, behaviors. Some of you are going through a separation at this time, and it is difficult because you do want this new beginning. You want to believe in yourself and take action towards a person or a situation here. So let's take a look and see, Sag, what you're telling yourself for the month of September. What are you telling yourself? Oh, okay. Five of Pentacles. Oh, there's one right behind it. Okay. So uh, five of, do you want this one, Spirit? No. Okay. Thank you. Six of Pentacles showing up. You're telling yourself you want equal give and take. This card already came up for you. This is about two-way abundance. This is about uh, unexpected gifts coming in that you can receive. It's about help from others. It's about equal give and take and being generous with your time. Somebody being generous with their time as well. Not feeling like you're on a, the back burner. Not feeling like you are somebody's option, not somebody's choice here. And it's all about equal give and take is what you ultimately want within a union. So let's clarify the Six of Pentacles. Spirit, can you please clarify what Sag is telling themselves regarding the equal give and take? Okay, the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you want teamwork. Ultimately, this creates this. You can't do this without this, okay? So teamwork makes the dream work here. There needs to be uh, there needs to be help in the situation here. Three of Pentacles may, is you feeling left out because somebody's not willing to put in the work. All right, let's take a look at your external uh, influences. What's going on in your outer world at this time? You're trying to juggle a hell of a lot here, Sag. Two of Pentacles says you're trying to maintain balance. You're trying to juggle up a major decision here. Uh, you're trying to balance maybe your work, your play, your time. You're trying to do a lot of different things here. I see you juggling a lot of different things, trying to keep all the balls in the air. And you can see here that she's uh, trying to balance with one foot and the one tiny movement you're going to come crashing down here so make sure that you are setting priorities at this time here sag and that you are releasing anything that's not serving you so let's take a look here and clarify the two of pentacles spirit can you please tell me about what it is that my beautiful sagittarians are trying to juggle at this time 
The five of cups showing up in reverse. You're trying to juggle this loss, okay? The five of cups. Uh, this is about you finally appreciating what you have, finally having faith in the future again, but it's also you juggling up, again, some sort of loss from the past uh, that the tower moment created that left you brokenhearted, that left the cycle ending here, and you're trying to do everything at once to occupy your mind to distract you from some sort of grief, some sort of loss here. All right, so let's take a look at your hope and fear, Sag. We have the five of pentacles. So this is your hopes. This is your fears. The hopes here are uh, that you aren't going to feel left out in the cold, that you're not going to have a sense of lack, that somebody is going to choose you. And the, the fear here is... Uh, health, it could be health difficulties as well, uh, your health, there's something with that coming up here. So if you already know about a health issue, it could, it could be on the forefront for you as well. Maybe somebody is being a major pain in the neck or somebody is causing you to have a headache here. And it just could be, uh, I'm getting anxiety, so I am getting chest uh, area here. But again, I'm not a doctor, this is only if you already know it, and if you do need professional uh, help or guidance, please seek a professional as I am not one. But I feel like there's something with health because you can see that her hair is made out of twigs and her body is bare and she um, she needs to recoup herself here. Her heart is broken and uh, she's feeling very cold, very isolated and just left out like she has nothing left to give here. That is your fear. You don't want to be old and worn out and uh, left for, I just seen crows. You know how crows come in and pick pick on the roadkill? You don't want to feel like you've been left on the side to be picked at. Um, very interesting message here, but the hope is that you can recover. Recover health-wise, that you can uh, even possibly even recover uh, from this relationship as well and that you're able to release any of these fears that are holding you back very powerful hopes and fears they're very deep so what spirit wants me to tell you here Sag is pay attention to what you're manifesting at this time okay so again wherever your thoughts go is where you are uh, going to, what you're manifesting in your life let's take a look at the final outcome for your love Sagittarius, what is the final outcome in September? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. The Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. It is a painful ending for you, Sag. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to lie. But there is some something that's coming to an end. You already know it. Okay? You already know. But this is about you feeling like everybody's out to get you. Maybe even feeling like a little bit stabbed in the back here. And there's a lot of beauty actually within this card because what it does is it builds you up and it lets you know that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and that you have the courage and you have the confidence to get through any of life's obstacles that are thrown your way here. So the good news again about the Ten of Swords is finally being able to move forward in a situation and releasing the pain, okay? Because something was painful for you. Something happened here that was very painful. But let's clarify this energy. Spirit, can you please tell me a little more about the Ten of Swords? Okay, one more. Thank you. Uh, we have the Queen of Wands showing up here. Queen of Wands. Oh, you want one more? Okay, thank you. Ah, yeah, okay. Beautiful, I understand now. Thank you, Spirit. So the Ten of Swords, we have uh, the balance. Some of you may be dealing with a Libra. Uh, maybe some of you have Libra in your chart, but this is about after this ending, because that's kind of what you're in the midst of going through at this time, there's going to be balance. Anything that left you brokenhearted here, you're bringing balance back into a situation that ultimately is going to leave you feeling happy about yourself once again, especially if this situation knocked you to your knees here. The Queen of Wands is one of the most beautiful, uh, carefree, adventurous, happy, queens out of the four and uh, she lives life on her terms here she is very beautiful passionate social independent confident bold she knows her potential knows her worth and that is the positive of the ten of swords so 
Let's look at this as a positive. Like I said, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you. Uh, you're going through a little bit of a heartbreak. You're going through a heartache, but the good news is balance is coming back into the situation, Satch, and you're gonna feel back on top of your game. Your beautiful, feisty, bold, confident self is how you're gonna feel after uh, this healing takes place here. All right, let's get a message from Spirit. What does Spirit have for my beautiful Sagittarian Spirit? What do you have? Oh, goodness. That's a lot. Do you want all of them, Spirit? Nope. Okay. I just heard two. Thank you. Did I quickly got to see what these are. Just because uh, I'm nosy. All right. Inspire passion and be proud. I like this. It's time to celebrate all that you have achieved, Sagittarius, all that you are and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud. Wow, beautiful. Okay, we do have Inspire Passion. Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired, blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is the time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals. What did I tell you here? Which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. So this needed to come crashing down. There needed to be a rebirth, the phoenix rising from the ashes here, Sag, in order for you to inspire passion to yourself once again. I feel the turnaround coming where you're going to express yourself, express your feelings. True love is uh, the romance that you've been waiting for is coming in here and it will lead to honeymoon. Just possibly not within the September time frame that I'm seeing here, but it could be before the end of the year is what I am sensing here. Something that you're feeling a lot more beautifully uh, proud and passionate of. All right, let's take a look. We're going to get a message from the wisdom of the oracle. I will read the relationship message from the guidebook because I believe that uh, Colette Baron reed has a lot of beautiful, insightful messages that come through the guidebook for you. So we're just going to read. Oh my gosh. I have to tell you here, Sag, the last three readings that I've done, Libra and Scorpio, have had the same exact card. I believe it was them. Uh, the fates has come out for a few other signs. So there's something going on in the collective energy right now. So we're just going to read 17 here, the relationship message. It's all about fate, karma. All right. End of a karmic cycle for you. Uh, acceptance that things are that you cannot change and knowing what those things are. The relationship message for you, Sag, other people are who they are. You can't change them. The challenge is to accept them as they are and not try to make them otherwise to suit you. This is a time to look at how you attempt to mold people to fit your view of how they should be so you can remain in the relationship and avoid discomfort. What if they are who they are and whatever is happening between you and them in this situation is perfect from the perspective of spirit. Now is the time to accept what you cannot change, even if it means that you honor yourself, spirit, and the other person by moving on. Love unconditionally for each of us has, his own, has our own journey, and we cannot direct that of another. Be aware that this relationship is indeed fated, and you are meant to evolve into a better vi version of yourself as a result of it. Whoa, I got major goosebumps, Sag. That's the energy of this card. You are meant to evolve into a better version of yourself because of this heartache. Whew, that's powerful. I gotta take a moment to just breathe for a second there. All right, we're gonna get a message here from the Soul Truth. So what I want you to do here, Sag, is I want you to either pause the video and really think of the answer here, or maybe even pause and write this question or phrase down and meditate and ponder on it because this is the soul truth that really gets down and gets you thinking here of uh, what's going on, what's going down below the surface. All right, we got two of them for you. What if it isn't true? The thing that you're telling yourself right now, the concrete reasons why you think you don't belong, why you can't do it, 
why you won't get there and why you're not enough or maybe it's not for you what if it wasn't true today's soul action it's time for a soul chat close your eyes put your hands on your heart and ask the wise one within you what if it isn't true what else might be possible journal your answer what lie do I need to let go of to reach my soul's truth Woo! another powerful one Sag holy moly all right how can I surrender even more in this moment how can I surrender even more in this moment it is essential to have clear strong intentions of what we desire but it's equally important for us to detach from the outcome it's time to surrender let the universe have some breathing room to work let go of the wheel and trust so deeply that your trust turns into gratitude for what you cannot see yet but you know is coming today's soul action Sag know this so deeply that your soul vibrates that you are not alone your life has purpose and the more you surrender the more God can produce miracles in your life today's mantra I surrender I accept all that I cannot change whoa did we just hear that in the fates card I release the outcome and I joyfully trust the process this is a really deep deep powerful reading here sad so whatever you got going on is soul changing life changing for you here whoa okay so for those of you that are new to my channel there's this beautiful power animal exercise that I love to do with each and every one of you to get you opening up that third eye chakra so just drop to your heart center and then come back up to your third eye and I want you to focus on a specific animal or animals they can be animals that live on land maybe fly high in the sky maybe they're in the sea maybe they're domesticated or wild but I want you to just close your eyes and I want you to focus on the first animal or again animals that come to your mind's eye all right so when you're ready open your eyes and I would love to hear what your animals are in the comment box below dove spirit we have dove it says be peace be peace there will be peace brought to the situation. There will be balance brought to the situation here, Sag. I'm sending you out a lot of love, uh, but know that peace will be attainable once again. Butterfly spirit, transformation is beautiful. Guess what you have here coming? The death card is all about transformation. So just an extra confirmation here, butterfly spirit. Some of you may have butterfly tattoos as well, or maybe uh, you just had a butterfly land on you. They're also illuminating that it is the 11 soul path number, which is justice. It's all about balance and uh, bringing karma. What goes around comes around here, and there's an end of a karmic cycle. This is your soul path. That's what you needed to learn to evolve and grow as a, a beautiful soul here. So butterfly spirit. We have pig, pig. It says, use your mind wisely. Use your mind wisely. Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. The abundant universe will provide. I, I just seen, uh, you know, I, I feel like they're out west. I'm seeing uh, Montana area, Colorado as well, but I'm seeing mountains. So I know that, you know, buffaloes can live out in the mountains as well. Maybe that is a dream of yours to uh, go to the mountains. Maybe it's just saying you would like to escape to the mountains here to maybe do some healing or to get some time out in nature. Maybe you live in the mountains. Please take it as it resonates. And we have cat spirit. Claim your independence. Claim your independence because you are a beautiful, successful, independent soul, Sag. You have everything it takes to bring independence, balance, success, and love into your life here. And I certainly see you doing that as well. But along with independence, bring some play. Bring some play into your life. When's the last time you played? When's the last time you really laughed is what I am sensing. I'm also seeing somebody with a feather in their hair. Feather? Maybe you have like a, it could be just a feather that you don't even know is in your hair, or maybe it's a feather that you purposely put in your hair. Please take that as it resonates. 
And then I'm going to use a deck, usually at the very end of my readings. I do pull from the crystal, uh, crystal bowl here, but uh, Spirit told me this time to pull from the Crystal Spirit Oracle deck here, and I will read the relationship message from, again, the guidebook. And a lot of times I don't read from the guidebooks. Whoa. Whoa, no wonder. I've never really worked with this deck before. Um, so which one would you like, Spirit? I feel like there's a lot of messages that are uh, want to be told and come out. Do you want both of these or just this one here? Okay. They want this one. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Some of these I may not even know how to pronounce. I apologize. Uh, Serifo's Green Quartz. So we have a green quartz here. A lot of these I haven't even heard of here, but we have green quartz. So I'm just gonna read to you the uh, relationship message of green quartz. I feel like it has to do with the heart chakra energy as well. Okay, so the relationship message for this, I'm super excited, I've never done this before. You are the first here, Sag. So it says, the rigidity you felt when pushing for what you desired is absent now as you are coming to accept that what is, can, what is cannot be changed. Holy moly, is that the third time that we've seen or heard the serenity prayer here? At least not yet. This moment must be experienced exactly as it is so that you may see your relationships with clarity. Being honest about what you can change and what you can't is a big step toward co-creating what you desire and love. So be present, let the tears flow, and rest assured that the conscious universe is your ally. There is far more love coming, coming your way more than you can even begin to imagine. Green Quartz Spirit appears to tell you that the foundation, oh, oh I'm reading the prosperity message now, forget that, uh, but the relationship message is very powerful. There is far more love coming your way than you can even begin to imagine. And that's what I'm getting here regarding this uh, energy of the true love coming in uh, and the honeymoon coming in here. So. Whoa, beautiful energy. I love the message from this. I think that uh, Spirit wants me to do more of these. And uh, they're also illuminating the face in this card, if you can see that face showing up for you. So uh, any green quartz or any quartz, I feel like will help with clarity for you as well. If you're not familiar with quartz, I don't have any green, I don't think. But here is clear quartz uh, that you can utilize as well. So, Sag, I hope this resonates with you. I'm sending you out all a lot of love and light. This is a very, very deep reading. I don't know if I've ever done one so intense for you here. So I'm sending you all, all a lot of love and light, but I know this transformation is ultimately going to be very beautiful in your life, and you will be grateful that it happened. So uh, please tune in, subscribe if you haven't already, if this message did resonate. Feel free again to leave a comment, hit that like button, and stay tuned next week as I do read your sign weekly. Sending you all out a lot of love, light, and abundance.